The Nigerian Medical Association of Nigeria, Kogi Chapter, on Thursday said 27 confirmed cases of Lassa fever disease from nine local government areas of the state had been reported by the state epidemiologist. This was contained in a press statement issued on Thursday by the NMA chairman in Kogi, Dr. Kibiru Zubar. According to him, no case of COVID-19 has been recorded in the state as of March 25, 2020. The association noted that even though Kogi had not recorded any case of COVID-19, but it is bordered by 10 states and FCT, as well as serve as a major transit point between the north and south, made it vulnerable at this time. Zuber therefore advised the state and federal governments to continue to do more with respect to preventive measures, noting that the healthcare system was too fragile to withstand major outbreaks of infections as caused by COVID-19. He urged the state government to improve her level of preparedness as no state was immune to the dreaded disease, adding that the proposed isolation centers should be urgently put in place and equipped with relevant medical gadgets such as ventilators. He stressed that the personal protective equipment should be made available to healthcare workers while urging the state to set up and train management team that could, com that could be confident in handling cases of COVID-19. And joining me in the studio still is medical practitioner, Dr. John Mark Boala. Thank you for staying with us still, doctor. Thank you for having me. Now, what is your take on, on the case of, of Lassa fever? Well, Lassa hemorrhagic fever is something that has been with us for over 50 years. And I, I, I will say we are just not being serious uh, on the side of uh, the government, especially the, the healthcare system and the Minister of Health. We need to, at this stage, by now, have uh, reached a point of research that we already know how to deal with it. We need to be the pioneer leading uh, nation to look for vaccines and other permanent solution. And Nigeria is also not engaging the public health workers and setting up a good primary health care system. Public health workers are meant to actually go and help uh, people in both cities and rural areas to, uh, to ensure good hygiene, to set up uh, a system whereby people will understand that living with rats is not okay and try to eliminate rats in their surroundings and see how they can monitor food chain supply to cut off that stage because rats has to actually uh, pass an excreta on top of a food before you pass it on to human being. Yes. Now healthcare workers are going, so many healthcare workers have died in this country. It's expensive to train a doctor, to train a pilot, a lawyer, each and every person. And this thing is taking people's life, even if it's a child of six months or one year that dies of lesser fever, the country is losing because you don't know if this is your future journey that is going to discover some software for you in your country in the future. So we need to invest a lot. We do not have dedicated ambulances that handles Lassa fever cases in this country. The PPE, for instance, if somebody comes in or enters any standard general hospital in Nigeria or even teaching hospital, I bet you there will not be a ready-made Hamza suit or Travac suit, that similar ones you use during the Ebola time to handle that case. Yeah. Now, interestingly, I mean, Kogi said it's been ravaged by Lassa fever, but no, still no reported case of COVID-19. How can we curtail the spread of Lassa fever? Well, like I said, that's just basically what I said. If the, this, the Lassa fever is spread via contamination yes. of uh, foodstuff by the feces of a, a specific uh, species of rat. Now, once it gets to the healthcare, uh, I mean, somebody comes into the hospital, you need protective equipment and proper setting to help attend to this person, preserve his life, and also not infect the uh, healthcare worker. Yes. Because at that stage, it is possible for the healthcare worker to get infected from the sick individual, even the uh, stage of burial. So um, all this need a collective effort. But we need, people are aware of what to do. People know what to do. We have technocrats, but the enforcement stage and also implementation is lacking. And we need government because they own that. Government has to set a system and said, hey, we are ready, we're here to assist you. What can you do? And we, if, if someone is not complying to that, these are set rules to guide people or as well, even uh, consequence management if necessary. It's interesting, we've been able to identify the origin of Lassa fever. Can it be eliminated completely from Nigeria? Um, as long as you have rats, and that species of rat, it's not easy. And is there any way to identify this species of rat? I mean, yes. Interestingly, they, they are multi I mean, yeah. They have a lot of uh, uh, breast. Uh, the number of breasts is higher compared to other species of rat. Yes. That's the easiest way. But 
I don't advise anybody to go in if you're not an expert to and start they trying fine, to identify. Yes. So, so is, is there a possibility of, of total elimination? It requires a serious uh, research system whereby you will now invest in the research and start looking for a way to genetically eliminate that specific species. It exists in uh, mosquitoes. Some countries have done similar things, but it's cheaper to actually look for vaccine than to look for a way to eliminate rat because it's a chain because at the end of the day you might end up eliminating all types of rat and then you disrupt the, the ecosystem. Uh, ecosystem. Right. Now, um, interestingly, uh, people have said that more Nigerians have died from Lassa fever like in the, in the case of a strain COVID-19. What is pertinent for every household at this point in time for the prevention of Lassa fever? Um, well, we need to... But even though with the lockdown, we still need to pay attention to the source of our food. Yeah. And any dry food, such as gari, that you have to come in and take, and people that store, only store any food, try to put it in a plastic pack that you can cover and sell it properly. And if, even if it's a cooked food, because some people actually in their kitchen, they keep those beans nearby that attract rats, and they come in. So general hygiene is key. Um, dispose of your trash that contains food far away from the house immediately. Don't leave it overnight. And then um, try to apply some uh, um, rodent uh, killers. Fumigate if possible, or you put some tablets that actually repel rats from coming into your system yeah. or into your house so that you don't get uh, uh, those species of rats coming in. And if you buy food from other states, try to make sure that you, if it's something you have to wash, wash it well. If it's uh, gari, try to take it as ebra instead of uh, uh, soaking it with uh, cold water. Right. Dr. John Magbala, thank you for joining us still and for your contribution. Thank you for having me.